And this is why you pay at the fuel pump. I have absolutely taxied myself here. Look, everyone's doing their weekly shop and I could have paid at the fuel pump and I didn't press the button. What a muppet. Why is no one using these tools? So welcome back to the channel everybody as you, as you join me on this uh, crazy roundabout here in Canby. Canby? Well it's near Canby isn't it? Um, I've got to say, right, if you haven't got the Waze app, I would definitely recommend, especially if you ride a bike, get the Waze app. Because the alerts it gives you for the uh, for anything dangerous on the road is amazing. I've just um, I wasn't recording, but however, um, it just came up said that there was an uh, object in the road, and uh, yeah, there was there was uh, some plywood in the dual carriageway. Which uh, yeah, if you'd uh, hit that on a bike, you would have had a bit of a you would have had a bit of a bad day, a bit of carnage. Talking of bad days, look at this grey miserable however I had to get out of the house I'm uh, I was going a bit stir crazy and uh, yeah getting me down a bit so I thought you know what oh look fuel lights come on I'll, uh, I'll get out and about and uh, get out on the bike there's a couple of clothes shops near me in uh, near Leon C so uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop, pop there go and have a look around see what's occurring see what's going on so I don't know if anybody else has had the same issue as what I've had. I've uh, totally taxied myself uh, the other day. My brain isn't quite dialed into uh, the fact that it's turning into winter now. So I was going to go up to Suffolk. I was about 20 minutes into an hour drive and I had my armoured trousers on and all the rest of it. Um, I put my, I was wearing my like, my, my brand, Brando's type style leather jacket because that's quite warm. It's got no body armour in it, but I thought I'll wear that because it's pretty warm. But where I've lost some weight, oh my goodness, it was blowing a hoolie up the sleeves. I had my electric heated vest on, but I totally underestimated how cold it would be. And I mean, it wasn't particularly that cold. I think it was about seven degrees, I think it was. But yeah, I got about 20 minutes into that ride and I was just like, nah, I've got to, I've got to call a day on this one. I'd turn around and come back home. I was I was two ices. That that totally negated the wind. Well, the wind going up the sleeves totally negated having an electric vest on. Oh, it was absolute carnage. So uh, today I've obviously got my tech stock jacket on, so which is uh, doing the job quite nicely. It's not to be honest though. It's not too cold today. But uh, yeah, anyone else had that issue? It's just like wrapping your brain around that. Um, yeah, well, it's getting cold now, Jim. You need to. Uh, start wrapping up a bit more warmer and uh, potentially taking uh, a waterproof jacket with you wherever you go or wearing one even let's get in front of this van what is going on here i don't normally come this way uh the way he's at for some reason is uh bringing me through south benfleet there must be a hold up on the uh, there must have been a thing on the a13 or something london road going into ben uh, going into leon c but yes yeah, that was carnage, that was. Here's a question for you. I've seen quite a few videos made now uh, from different motor vloggers and different video cha bike channels about uh, the state of the motorcycle industry, especially in the UK, what with all the dealerships closing down and everything. And uh, I've got a question for you. With, with that is, are the bikes, are they just getting too expensive? I mean, a lot of people are saying that. I mean, you've got some people there that have obviously got some quite good uh, well-paying jobs and stuff and even they are saying it's just ridiculous like the price of bikes and stuff and and the way the manufacturers are going where they're bringing out like the latest sports bikes and they're not really sports bikes they're like they're basically like this like a triple or a twin made up to look like a sports bike they've put a race fairing on it blah 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 and then they're calling it it's, it's just ridiculous You've got the Daytona and you've got that new, what is it, the R7 that's coming out, or no, R9, R9. It's just, yeah, absolutely bonkers. There is the R7 as well, I think that's a parallel tin, twin as well. Or is that a triple? I don't know, probably talking out my arse. But yes, but are sports bikes dead? I, I think they might be making a little bit of a resurgence. I'm a little bit of a tart, I do like a sports bike, hence I've got the Ninja. They're, they're not the most practical bikes in the world. 
um, because I bought mine second hand I can afford you know I've got this which is more practical and then I've got that which is still comes under the price of a brand new bike which is the route I've gone down because uh, yeah because I ain't paying those types of money so yeah our sports bike our sports bikes dead or are they coming back and talking to which I'm at the SO garage so I need to get some juice right, let's go fill the beast up get a load of this I'm always complaining and I the fact that you know paying at the cashier and I'll come to a pump where I could have paid at the pump and what do I do I'll press the pay for the cashier what an absolute chimp absolutely taxied myself there oh my goodness all right let's get a move on yeah where was I anyway uh, we were talking about all these sports bikes and the state of the bike industry at the minute I think the uh, second hand sales are doing quite well I'm, I'm guessing I'm, I'm guessing so let me speak to my mate Dave about that he's uh, he's in that trade he's probably got a better idea so with that being said I think I'm going to end this video here because uh, nothing more interesting is uh, happening and uh, I'm near where I need to be going and uh, yeah so if you like the videos give us a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed smash that red subscribe button and if you are a subscriber hit the notification bell that tight way every time this idiot uploads a video you will get notified and that my friends as I fight my way through this traffic is Jim Diesel out Smashed out on some new gloves from Harper's. Got some uh, Rika, 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 is it Rika, Rika, wherever you pronounce that. Uh, these are like Gore-Tex waterproof, windproof type of jobbies. So it'll be interesting to see how much warmer they keep my hands. Gone for short length as well. Not particularly big lover of the long, the long ones. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we get on with that, eh?